Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jill, and today I'm here with a very special guest, Mr. Dylan Bernard. How are this you? is one of my really good friends. We've been friends for like, I don't know, like a year and a half now? Maybe yeah. longer. Yeah. Um, and I found him because I fell in love with his beautiful singing voice. Thank you. <laughs> Before we get into this video, I want to tell you guys we did a video over on Dylan's channel where we actually did a cover together of one of his songs from his EP. Check it out. Check it out. I'm gonna have it linked down below and um, probably at the end of the video as well. And also, you can definitely check it out by clicking the I up in that corner. So make sure that you click that little guy and go and check out the video. Yes. So today, yeah. what I decided to do with Dylan was that I was going to ask you guys for questions that you wanna ask boys about boy stuff and relationship stuff. And we were gonna get a real life boy to answer our questions. Whoa. So I have a bunch of questions from you guys and we're just gonna go ahead and, and start asking. Are you ready? Um, I was I was born ready. You better be. Boom. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Our first question is: What are some of the most attractive qualities in a personality? Personality-wise, <laughs> very very funny, very uh -huh. very lighthearted, easygoing. Um, knows knows good humor. All right. Um, caring. So like if, if we person. wanted to flirt with a boy, we should like try to be like sort of funny and like yeah. sweet. Yeah. And just just be yourself, if okay. whoever that is. How can you tell if he's just not that into you? Probably he's really short. If okay. the answer's really short, like just like K, okay, um, mm -hmm. doesn't answer at all. Those right. are key. He signs right. and it's just But sometimes like what about like sometimes guys are really nice and girls can mistake that for flirting? How can you tell the difference? Is there a way? I don't know. See, I don't think there is a difference. Yeah. I think if a guy is being over not overly nice, some guys are just really nice. Right. But and of course I can't speak for all guys, but the majority of them would be flirting. Okay. Good so to know. So that that Ladies. might be a good sign. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. How do you recommend getting over a boy you really like? I feel like this is more a question for me than you. Like, you don't know how to get yeah. over boys. Yeah, no. But what about just getting over a person who you liked? It's all right to be a little selfish. Yeah, to be I agree. I mean, if, if it goes south, it's obviously going to be a little hard. Mm -hmm. But be a little selfish. Go, totally. Go out, do some stuff that you want to do, and just. Yeah, no, I totally agree. Up. Like, when you're really heartbroken over something, like spending time with your friends and like doing things for yourself without like. Not not considering other people, but just like doing it because you want to can yeah. like sort of help you get over that. Yeah, it's the little things. Listening to a little bit of Taylor Swift, crying it out a bit, and then like you're gonna feel better after you yeah. cry for a little bit. Absolutely. <laughs> How do you get out of the friend zone? Man. Is it possible? Yeah. <laughs> um, what do you think? It is possible. TV shows make it seem possible, but yeah, for it's me, it's so rarely done. I like the idea of building a friendship first, mm -hmm. and then building a relationship around that. Really, it's really hard to get across because it's that's how you fall into the friend zone. Totally, and I also think that's all. That's also tricky because by the time I'm friends with someone, I'm like, well, I don't want to ruin our friendship, so I'm exactly. just gonna ignore the crush and move and on. That I think I feel like you should just go for it at that. Really, point. I don't think I don't think that's a thing because you could always work on it if it doesn't work out like right if you should like get your friendship like, back to where it was yeah. um, I have one more question here okay how should a girl approach a guy she thinks is cute do you think it's cool mm. that girls make the first move yeah I really I really think it's it's really cool yeah. when girls make the first move um, like one time I was in the grocery store and just uh -huh. went up to a guy and uh -huh. said hey uh, I'm Jill uh -huh. I think you're really attractive can I get your number yeah I and would, he gave it to me, it worked. That would be, yeah, I find that really attractive. I don't know if girls think that we might be a little weirded right. out by well, that. Well, I think but... the wrong kind of guy. If a guy's yeah. weirded out by that, then he's probably you not know. the right yeah. kind of guy, you know? Yeah. Like, That's like, like, do you really want a guy easy. who's that intimidated by you making the first move? Like, probably not. Probably At least not. I don't. Like, probably I want someone not. who's going to want, like, a mutual... 100%. Yeah, mutual relationship. All right, those are all the questions. Boom! Thanks for being on my channel. Thank you for having me. And really thanks fun. for having me on your channel. You guys should definitely, yeah. I feel like I feel like it was very, I definitely picked up some some tips here. So okay. it's gotta be helpful for them too. Um, and definitely make sure that you check out the video we did on Dylan's channel. Yes. You guys are always bugging me to do more covers. And I haven't done any on my channel, but you got it on his. So you should go check that out. I'm gonna have a link down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. See you later.